Falcons' first home loss of the season comes at the hands of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. As a fan, I can't decide whether or not to be alarmed at this game. You know, division games are always tough, but then you have to consider the two key injuries to the Falcons' defense in John Abraham and Dante Robinson. If those two have to miss the playoff game, regardless of who they play against, that's going to be something they're going to miss a lot. I think the Falcons were right in playing the starters. Injuries happen, but at least now the backups have a chance to get two full weeks of practice to get prepared for the playoff game, rather than having to come in cold for the playoff game itself if the injuries had happened there. Quick QB comparison, Matt Ryan 28 of 44 for 238 yards, one touchdown and zero picks. Josh Freeman 19 of 35, 222 yards, one touchdown and one interception by Asante Samuel, who has quietly put together a very good season for the Falcons. Once again, the problem with the Falcons is the running game. At this point, there's no telling who's, whose fault it is. If it's the backs of the offensive lines, I do think that both do share some fault in the matter. Michael Turner had six carries for 18 yards, and one of those carries was for 17 yards. That means he had five carries for one yard, and that's, that's not good. Defensively, Doug Martin was able to rack up 142 yards and a touchdown. That's not very good either. Certainly not the qualities of a team that's that that's wants to be in the Super Bowl, that's for sure. Looking ahead for the playoff picture for the Falcons, they're comfortably the one seed and will have home field advantage throughout. The rest of the playoff seedings are still up for grab in the NFC as I speak. Minnesota is beating Green Bay and if they win, they're in and Chicago is out. San Francisco and Seattle are battling for the NFC West crown today. If San Fran wins, they'll take the division and will be the two or three seed depending on whether or not Green Bay wins today. Seattle has clinched a playoff spot and they could be just about anywhere depending on if they win and who else loses. For the Falcons, I don't think there's a team in particular I'd like to see them face. Certainly, you, know, you might point out Minnesota or Seattle, both of those teams have been very hot lately and certainly the Falcons have not been very hot lately. Ideally, they'll get the playoff monkey off their back this, this go round and certainly win a playoff game or two, but I think after the performance today there's a little bit of hesitation saying whether or not that will happen. There's a quick recap of the Bucks Falcons game. Thanks for watching, and as always, go Falcons!